Hello there. So at XP, we are always trying to improve our products to make them the very best that they can be for our customers. Now, whether that's through software or hardware innovations, we strive to be at the very forefront of technology to benefit you. Well, this year at XP, we're celebrating our 25th year anniversary. And as a huge thank you to all of our loyal customers throughout the years, and a huge welcome to our new customers as well, we're giving you the chance to use our XP Go to Rain app completely free of charge in standard mode. Well, we've been really busy in the background making some amazing new features for the app, which we believe is gonna make it an even more invaluable tool for you to use when you go out metal detecting. So let's take a much closer look at all of these amazing new features and see how they're gonna help you when you go out too. So one of the new features of GoToRain is something called heat maps. This is where you'll find it and this is how it works. Heat maps is a brand new and unique feature we have added to GoToRain, which enables you to very quickly and easily see a visual representation of your activity data. With heat maps, you can easily identify areas in your chosen place to metal detect by clearly seeing where larger concentrations of fines have been found. This information is crucial to aid you in identifying where possible sites of archaeological interest may be, including settlements, battlefields, homesteads and footpaths to name a few. You can easily find heat maps by going to any of your saved go terrain activities, opening the activity and clicking on display finds heat map just at the bottom. As you can see, this is an optional feature which can be turned on and off. So if you prefer to see the usual route data, target IDs and pictures, these can still be activated and found in the usual place. Heat map data will be an invaluable tool alongside all the other benefits of using GoToRain. And in the event that you need to share your finds in a quick and simple format with maybe a landowner, official, or just your detecting friends, heat maps will undoubtedly be the solution that you're looking for. And we have now made it so that you can export your files. So whether that's if you want to share it with your friends or import it into QGIS or other professional mapping software, the possibilities are now endless. We have now made it even easier for you to share your GoToRain data with other users in your contact list or as an exportable file type that you can use with external mapping software such as Google Earth. By exporting your activity data, you can show other people where you have been metal detecting and the things that you have been finding. And for those of you that like to research your sites with specific map layers or LiDAR, you can import your activity data into QGIS, where you can start to build a catalog of your days out and dive deeper into the reasons why finds are or could potentially be found there. It is now possible to export in the following formats. And yes, sorry, this is going to be the techie bit. GPKG. This is an open format in the form of an SQL-like database, which lets you export all the data from your activity, including photos and videos in a single file. This option is only for premium subscribers, but it is the perfect file type for software such as QGIS. It is also worth noting that you can now modify and edit your activities in GoToRain before you choose to export them. This can be done once you have finished your activity and either synced or saved it. You simply go to the activity you want to edit, click anywhere on the map and the erase icon will appear. Once pressed, you now have the option to either move points or delete them. To move points, simply zoom into your path line so that all the geographical points are displayed. Then simply click and drag the point to your desired location. To erase points, you are presented with two options. You can use the eraser tool to delete data simply by moving it with your finger. This option is perfect if you want to erase the straight lines associated with saving or syncing your activity at home rather than in the field. These are known as travel lines. Or alternatively, by pressing the erase icon once more, you can easily delete much larger areas more quickly by entering the zone detection mode. Here you can draw your triangulation points and then when you're finished, click the tick icon. 
Whichever way you decide to modify your path data, be sure to click save here at the bottom before you leave the menu. Another great feature that we've added to the GoTerrain app is the ability to merge all of your solo activities from the same location into one single activity. It is now possible for you to merge together any of your solo activities into one single activity if you're a premium subscriber. This will be a very valuable tool for you to consolidate all of your visits to the same site so that all of the data can be seen in one place, keeping your activity list to a minimum and displaying more accurate information for exporting purposes or heat map data. Merging solo activities is quick and easy. You simply navigate to your saved activities folder. Once there, long press any activity and you will now be presented with the option to tick which activities that you want to merge. Once you have selected your activities, you can now press Merge. This will then create a new activity and prompt you to edit the name and review your list of targets. Once satisfied, you then press Save Activity. It is important to note that once you have merged your activities, the old ones will be deleted, so this option cannot be undone. Therefore, it is vital to make sure that you are merging the correct data. It may also be of benefit if each time you visit the site on a separate activity, you consider to use a different colour path line, as this way each visit can clearly be seen after merging has taken place. And now, with the completely free standard subscription, you're able to save all of your activity data locally to your own smartphone. One of the key differences between the standard subscription and the premium one was that only the premium allowed you to sync and save your data to the secured encrypted cloud server. We have now expanded on this, which means all standard users can now save their data directly to the local storage on their smartphone that has GoTerrain installed. This means everyone can now save each activity, photos and video to be accessed at a later stage, shared with friends or modified as above. And it is now possible for you to import your saved data in the event that you change your phone or it gets lost or damaged. You simply click on your profile picture, press the three dots and navigate towards the Manage Data tab. Here you can import any data that you have previously flagged to save by simply pressing Import Data and then waiting for the process to complete. However, the easiest way has to be the premium subscription and it means that all of this can be taken care of simply by ticking one box. So another feature that we have greatly improved inside of GoTerrain is detection zones. We have made it much more accurate and given it a much wider appeal for you, the user, and also a very handy tool if you're an event organiser as well. Detection zones has always been a feature of GoTerrain. However, now we have enhanced it even more to give you a greater level of detail and customization. For instance, it is now possible to create multiple detection zones which can be individually named, given a custom color, and have a modified line width around the circumference. These detection zones can then be shared with your friends either via email or as a downloadable file so that the zones you have created can be seen ahead of arriving to your chosen site to metal detect. This will be a very useful feature for organized club digs, large scale events, or simply just to share with your friends what land is available before arriving at your chosen location. If you are a premium subscriber and have access to group mode, you can now select to turn on or off these detection zones so that they are only visible to everyone in your party on your chosen map layer. Detection zones can be found in the same place by clicking on the settings icon in the bottom toolbar. Once there, scroll to the select detection zones button where you can begin to create your own unique detection zones, import ones already created, or delete any that are no longer needed. We have also made it a lot easier to create detection zones now using simple triangulation points and the touch of a finger. You can easily mark out even the worst shaped areas and fields for selection. And once you have created one, you can then store it here in the detection zones menu where it will be waiting for you when you next need it. The possibilities of detection zones is now endless 
and we are confident that this will become another valuable tool for you and your friends to utilize when you go out metal detecting. So those are some of the amazing new features waiting for you inside of the GoTerrain app. We're sure that these new features are going to be an essential tool for you to use when you're out metal detecting and where the possibilities of discovery and research will really assist you in your finds rate and overall experience. The new version of GoTerrain is now available for you to download and try. So what are you waiting for? Thank you very much for joining me again, and I'll catch you all very soon. GoTerrain, available worldwide. Download now.